Hi, Jira Software offers a variety of reports that provide valuable insight and information about your projects, people, and issues. In this video, we'll explore the Jira Software Control Chart. The control chart shows the cycle time, or lead time, for your product, version, or sprint. It takes the time spent working on each issue and maps it over a specified period of time, so you can easily see where bottlenecks and slowdowns occur in the workflow. The control chart can be used to identify and address workflow design problems and to enable more predictable estimations. The x-axis represents time. The y-axis represents the number of days spent working on issues. The solid green dots are clusters of issues, and the open green dots are single issues. Their position on the chart indicates the date they were updated or resolved, and how long it took from when work began to when work was completed. This period is referred to as cycle time in the report. The red line represents the average cycle time for the total time period displayed in the report. The blue line represents the rolling average cycle time. This is calculated by averaging the cycle times of an individual issue and several issues before and after it. This produces a steady fluctuating average that clearly reveals outliers. Lower values indicate the team is working efficiently while higher values may indicate a bottleneck in the work process. The shaded blue area shows the standard deviation. This is the amount of variation in cycle time from the rolling average. The less variance between the actual cycle time of an issue and the average, the higher the confidence in using the average as an indication of future performance. The statistics above the chart summarize some of the key metrics in the report. Max time represents the maximum amount of time spent on an issue by the most significant outlier. You can click the green dots to view the associated issues. Below the chart are configuration settings for the report. You can specify the overall time period to be included in the report. You can select which board column or columns should be represented in the report. To get meaningful results, you should choose columns that correspond to time spent working on issues. You can select a quick filter to apply to the results. And finally, you can toggle non-working days. Now let's take a quick look at how to access reports on both cloud and server versions of Jira. To access reports on the server version of Jira, navigate to your desired project, Select Reports from the left taskbar, then select the desired report from the Agile Reports display. If you're already viewing a report, you can select a different report from the Switch Report drop-down. To access reports on the cloud version of Jira, navigate to your desired project, select Reports from the left taskbar, then select the desired report from the Agile Reports display. Alternatively, you can select a report from the report list in the left taskbar. For more details about control charts and other JIRA reports, please refer to the JIRA documentation. Also, you can enroll in the JIRA Reporting and Dashboards On Demand course from Atlassian University.